Hello everyone, it's Jen for Heffy Doodle. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create an easy background using cardstock. So I'm featuring the Super Dudes stamp set. This card is a nod to all the female and male crafters out there. And I'm bringing in a couple of images from the Yappy Happy Male stamp set as well. I've gone ahead and stamped out the images that I'm going to be using. And I just wanted to show you how I'm gonna personalize the mailbox here using the Happy Mail words from the Yappy Happy Mail stamp set, as well as the little heart that's in that stamp set. And I thought this would just be really sweet to add to the mailbox, seeing us card makers love to send Happy Mail. So I am stamping that with my Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink because I will be Copic coloring today. And to get started with the coloring, I'm going to do their skin. I am using four different markers for both of their skin tones. So I wanted our little super dude here to have a little bit darker of a skin tone. So I'm using E13 as my darkest, E11 as my midtone, and E00 as the lightest. Adding shadows underneath his hairline and underneath the bottom of his face mask as well as around his neck and then where his arms are touching his little tank top uh, top of his suit. For the little girl, I'm going with a bit more of a fair skin tone and I just realized here I forgot to color his ear so I am going to fix that up as I'm doing the little girl superhero. For her, my darkest color is the E11, the midtone is the E00 and the lightest is the E zero 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 again the shadows for her would be under her hairline and the bottom of her mask as well as her neckline and then i added some shadows to the inner parts of her arms for the blush i'm bringing in some r20 just to give them some rosy cheeks and then i'm going to work on the hair so for our little male card maker here, I'm using E29 as the darkest, E59 as my midtone, and E57 as my lightest color. I am using a flicking motion just to get some texture in his hair. I'm trying to leave a little bit of space in the middle just to give a highlight of where his natural part would be. And then I'm just flicking from the inside closest to the part out to the sides of his head and I started there with the lightest just to kind of see where I might want the darkest shadows to be for his hair then I went in with the mid-tone and the lightest color and then coming back with the darker ones just to add a little bit more of a feathered look to his hair for our little girl I'm going to make her a dirty blonde and so I am using E33 as my darkest, E53 and E51. And same here, she has her part drawn in. So I'm concentrating the darkest for her around her part and then flicking out the color to the tips of her hair. She would have shadows in her hair under her face to the back of her hair and then I like I said I did add some of the darker colors to her part so just going through the markers flicking that out and getting a really nice feathered look when I finished coloring her hair I wanted to draw some of those darker lines back in so I'm just grabbing those darker markers and then we can move on to coloring their suits for the color palette of their suits, I decided to go with kind of a tealy greeny color. So I'm going to be using BG78, BG75, and BG72. For our little super dude here, I'm going to color his mask and his top and his leggings in this color. And I will do the opposite for the little girl. So I will color her cape and her little bottoms there with this color palette. I wanted to kind of stay away from the traditional superpower or superhero colors and so I thought this would be a fun color combination to use. I also wanted them to match so that's why I decided to keep the color palette similar yet differentiate the two of them by coloring the various pieces of their outfits in uh, opposite colors. Once I get him colored up, I went ahead and colored her off screen and now you can see the second color palette I chose 
was BG18, BG15, and BG11. So for her, I'm doing the face mask and her top and leggings in this color. The BG18 is very similar to those first set of colors that I used, but once I get the BG15 and the BG11 in, you can see that there is quite a difference from the two color combinations. Again, I will do the opposite colors for him, so I will color his little pants and his cape in this color palette, and then they will be cute little matching card makers. So I will finish her up. You can see here I'm using a tip-to-tip -tip technique. The BG15 and the BG11 are a little ways apart, so it just helps to touch your lightest marker to your darker marker, just to help with that blend and get that smooth look that you would want. So here's our two little super dudes colored up. And now I'm going to do their little stockings on their feet. And I decided to do those in a light gray. So I'm using C5, C3, and C1. I am gonna go ahead and color in their um, stockings, their feet, with some silver stickles at the end. So I just wanted to have a nice gray base for their feet. Using my C1 and C3 here for the envelopes and then I will blend that out with the blender marker. I'm going to skip the coloring on the mailbox because I did end up changing my color palette. But now we're going to move on to creating the scene. So this is a great way to use cardstock to create simple backgrounds for your scene. I went ahead and cut out some of the oyster shell cardstock, and all this cardstock is Heffy Doodle. And I used the Sloppy Joe borders for that. I added some of the Simply Tealicious cardstock in the back, cutting that out with some of the Grassy Lass border dies. Because I was in the Aqua Tealy Green color palette, I didn't want to introduce a bright green for the grass, so I thought that this color worked perfect for my color palette. The background cardstock that I'm using for the sky is the Ice Blast, and then I went ahead and cut out a number of clouds from the Swirly Cloud dies with some white cardstock. And I really love the way the white clouds pick up nicely with the white mailbox that I colored. For the pink color that I'm using, I used R39, R85 and R83 and as I was putting this scene together I realized that I needed another element on my card to balance it out so I brought in this cute little dog from the Rescue Dogs mini stamp set colored him up to match our little female and male superhero card makers and I think he just rounded out the scene perfectly so before I go ahead and add the characters to my card, I'm going to adhere down these clouds, making sure to leave a couple of them off of the card panel itself. This just helps it give some continuity and make it look like it was not framed perfectly for a card. I went ahead and added some foam tape to all of the images and here you can see I'm just cutting along the black line of our little girl's hand here. I wanted her to be holding the envelope in her hand. So if you cut along the black line, you can't even tell that you made the cut. Once I get that where I want it, I'm going to adhere that down with some liquid adhesive. And then she's ready to go on to our card panel here. Go ahead and add one more piece of foam tape. And then I'm going to line up my images again here. I'm going to have our little guy here holding an envelope as well. He's kind of flying in out of the sky to put his card into the mail off to his recipient. So I just want to make sure I have everything lined up and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adhere down the mailbox. Now I can figure out where I want his envelope to be. I was trying to decide if I wanted it touching, making it look like it is going into the box or like he was just fast approaching the mailbox with his card. So I decided to have it a little bit 
bit away from the mailbox itself, went and adhered him down to the card base. Then I added our little rescue dog here and finally our little girl card making superhero. I did just need to pull up the little dog. I noticed there was a piece of the foam tape peeking out and I didn't want the recipient of this card to be able to see that. So I pulled that up very gently and then fixed that. Now I can go ahead and add my card panel to my card base. This is an A2 size card at four and a quarter by five and a half. And I always have to turn my cards sideways when I'm putting them on my card bases. I don't know if anyone else is like that, but for some reason I can't do it facing it straight on. For some final details, I'm adding my Lawn Fawn glitter pen to the lighter aqua or teal color of their suits. So anywhere that that color appears, I will use the glitter pen just for a little bit of shine. Seeing this is honoring all the male and female card makers out there, I thought it wasn't possible to have a card making card without some glitter. I'm also going to use some black gel pen and I'm going to add that to the little dog's eyes, his nose, and then for all three of them, I'm going to add that to the little heart on their costumes. Then I'm going to bring in a white gel pen and I'm just going to add a straight line down all of their capes just to make them look like their capes are a little bit shiny. I will add a line to the mailbox as well. And then I decided to bring in some Nouveau Glaze here. This will dry clear and gives a nice glossy raised effect. So I'm doing their masks with that. And then I decided to do the heart on the mailbox and on the letters. I do add the silver stickles to their shoes after. Here's a shot of that. You can see how glittery their shoes are. But that's the card for today, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us at Happy Doodle.